started this company, um, I was trading somewhere else and uh, my wife um, and I got pregnant and uh, we said, well, you know, we really want to go out and do our own thing and the only way that we're going to survive in this industry is if I'm running my own show and uh, we knew that that's the only way that, that I could ever be happy doing this anyway, was to control our own destiny. So we. We burned the boats. I quit my job. She quit hers. We uh, opened up a place, uh, a tiny little office on top of a, a greeting card store, where we had to be as quiet as we could during the day. And we had, uh, you know, wallpaper on the walls and a red carpet on the floor. I would start at 6 a.m. and I'd go till nine at night every day. Work uh, Saturdays, you know, 6 a.m. straight till noon, and I'd come home exhausted and. Uh, play with the baby and kind of pass out with her sleeping on my chest because I was so tired. The name Catalyst uh, came because I was doing some training uh, with another well-known trainer in town and we weren't using it, we weren't handing out a food plan um, and we needed something to really kickstart weight loss in, in a number of new clients who were coming. And the phrase catalyst means um, something that triggers a reaction. And so I just put the name catalyst on a food plan that I had made up. Uh, that food plan has gone by the by because it was mostly based around caloric intake. And uh, you know, in this career, you have to keep learning things. And, and as I've done that, my approach to nutrition has improved as well as my coach to training. And so um, when I went out on my own, uh, the name catalyst came with me. It's been over six years now. Staffing, uh, we've been incredibly lucky. Um, right from the get-go, uh, I was fortunate enough to have Mike Watson join me. Um, Mike is an incredible trainer. He's got a lot of experience in this field now. Uh, he's got a kinesiology background. And then the next guy in was Ty Belanger. I mean, uh, if you can imagine putting uh, a couple of guys like that together in one place, that would be uh, the owner of most gyms dream come true. You know, Whitney Pagnuco, Mitch Freya, Melanie Rose, Cam Wilson, on their own, any of these people could be the best in town. Um, as a team, it's almost unheard of in the world to have this kind of uh, team available in, in Sault Ste. Marie is uh, just beyond me. I can barely believe it most days. I believe in a collaborative approach. Uh, we have guys in the pipeline, even Adrian Valaka, Josh DeLuca. You know, none of us is as good as all of us. Everybody brings a unique perspective into uh, a client's training program. And so while we're able to be discreet from one client to the next, uh, most trainers usually know what's going on with a, a particular client's case and have actually added some input into that client's case. The job of a personal trainer is uh, to eventually teach you to be expert at this on your own. We have people who've been with us for eight or nine years and they like the novelty and they like coming in and getting their workout handed to them and, and I like that too. You know, I have a personal trainer, I have a coach. I love to be coached as much as I love to coach. Um, but these people, if they had to on their own, they could easily go out and make up their own workout. They just see the benefit of continuous coaching the same way that I see it. What's made us different? Um, we still do a lot of the things that we did when we started up. I believe that when you're when you're paying a personal trainer, number one, um, you should be able to have access to an expert at a, a price that you can afford. Uh, more people need personal trainers than just wealthy elite people. I think everybody, uh, no matter what they're doing, needs the help of a coach and we want to be able to provide that to as many people as we can and our price is reflective of that philosophy 
not reflective of the amount of expertise that we bring to the job or the passion. Um, our clients, after a while, don't depend on us, they just like us, and that's why they keep coming back. Well, we don't, we don't go quickly here. We have a phenomenal family. This is probably the greatest part about this gym is its membership. We don't add new members fast. We add three or four new members a month, and that's great. We also don't lose people very often. So there's no going back. Once you've been to Catalyst, you know, once you've done CrossFit or personal training or been a part of this community and this philosophy, uh, there's no way that you could go back to a machine-based training program and walking on the elliptical and, uh, or a Tybo class. I mean, we do encourage people to do lots of different things outside of our gym, but it's pretty hard for people to, to give up the community and the type of workouts that we do. We don't use a lot of machines. Um, there's, a, there's a funny CrossFit slogan that says, we don't use machines, we make them. And we want to teach people how to move better and how to operate in the real world instead of plunking you down in a machine where you're supposed to spend uh, three minutes doing three sets of eight to ten reps and then move on to the next machine. I don't, I don't want to pigeonhole people like that. I want to teach people uh, how to be graceful, powerful, uh, how to go outside and run for a long time and lift heavy stuff over their head and just learn to enjoy it. I want to teach people how to win at this stuff. Food plan, absolutely mandatory. You know, if food isn't 50% of fitness, then it's more. And if you're not being given a food plan by your personal trainer, then, um, you know, you're not being shown half of the picture. And so what else is, what else is missing there? I think that, that at least a third of a personal trainer's job is continuing education. It's not enough to have a weekend seminar. You have to be immersed in new knowledge and science all the time because if, if a little piece of information comes out that can help a client, then you're doing the client a disservice by not being aware of that information. And if you learn that there is information that you're not utilizing and it could be beneficial, then um, you have to pursue it as, as quickly and aggressively as possible. I don't believe in mirrors. I believe in intrinsic motor learning, which means that I'm going to teach you to squat and, and move so well that you know where your body is in space, okay? And you don't need, you don't need external uh, reinforcement to show you that. The other thing is that um, we all know that, that mirrors are used primarily um, for vanity purposes. Why CrossFit? Well, in 2006, uh, it became obvious to us that um, the real reason that people weren't getting fit was because they hated exercise and it was boring. Um, and so we launched a study on exercise adherence, basically what would, what would make exercise more attractive to people and what would keep them going once we started. It's never been my style to sell you know, long-term contracts or to, to trap you into a package of 50 personal training sessions by offering you some kind of crazy discount. Um, I want you to like it because that's how you're going to get the most benefit out of it in the long term. People love CrossFit because it's so different and uh, in our culture there's a real urge to differentiate yourself and, and people do that through tattoos and they do that through uh, the way they dress and, and sometimes what they mean to do to make themselves seem different really makes them seem more of the same. And so by doing CrossFit, I can give them something that's not appearance based, but action based, uh, that they can do something that's different than the norm. And the irony is that when they're doing CrossFit, they're actually doing things that your body was made to do anyway. I mean, you did not go through these aeons of evolution to watch Oprah Winfrey. I would rather teach you how to, to move properly teach you how to do a pull-up, give you the sense of accomplishment that comes with that. We have lower rates in town because we want to make fitness accessible to people, okay? And so we try to deliver that at a price point driven not by um, our competitors but by what 
we think people can afford to pay and um, you know just enough to keep a roof over our heads. Now we are uh, the cheapest personal training in town uh, for for an expert. Okay, there are cheaper personal trainers in town, not people who make a living at this, but people who do this as a sideline. Um, I've, I've always been wary of that. I, you know, I wouldn't buy, uh, I wouldn't buy help from a part-time lawyer, you know, and I wouldn't see a part-time doctor. So if, if somebody isn't willing to make this their career and take on that risk of doing this full-time and immersing themselves in the knowledge necessary to do this as a professional, um, then why would you pay them? And our trainers are the highly the most highly paid trainers around. Even though uh, our rates may not reflect that, the trainer is actually paid a lot more. <laughs> I think you want your personal trainer uh, the same way you want your uh, airline pilot to be. I, I think you want them to be well paid. I think you want them to be happy and fed and eager to go to work in the morning. We started Ignite the same way that we start everything else. It was a a movement initiated by interest in helping people, you know, and um, I've always been able to take risk if the risk is weighed not by financial reward but by um, social benefit. So I think that people, culture, our culture as a whole benefits from CrossFit because I think there are a lot of messages out there that, that aren't correct or don't have people's best interests in mind. I think that our culture as a whole can really benefit from Ignite because um, the next step in the evolution of reclaiming the human fitness is uh, reclaiming our brain's capacity to learn. Well, we do have a great rapport with uh, physiotherapists, chiropractors in town because we're on the same page with them. Okay? We're, our methods might be different, but we're all coming from the same place and our goal has always been to help people as much as possible. Frequently, uh, we collaborate on different people's cases. Sometimes people get in and out of physio faster because they deal with us. Sometimes we collaborate with chiropractors to get people fixed up you know, after an injury. Um, and I think we've got a great network around town of professionals who, who believe the same things that we do. It's CrossFit dangerous. Uh, it's not as dangerous as not doing CrossFit. I mean, um, sitting on your on your couch for three hours a night is dangerous, absolutely. Uh, your seated job at work for eight hours a day is absolutely dangerous. Um, you know, the corn syrup that's in the soft drink that you had at lunch will kill you. And it's not just a, a mythological belief. It's a lifetime of exposure to these things that give you diabetes. Teaching you how to move properly isn't a comfortable process for a lot of people because they've spent maybe 30 or 40 years unlearning that motion and their, their body has kind of fallen into the groove of other bad habits. And so usually uh, people will say things like, oh, I'm, I, you know, I was so killed after that workout. But your, your brain, your nervous system, the muscle are all learning to work together in a better, more efficient way. And uh, people are pretty grateful for that in the long term. park. The park got its nickname uh, because we're in an industrial park and it's a term of endearment that our members use to describe the Catalyst Gym. Um, everybody just says we're going to the park and uh, a lot of their friends assume that they're actually going you know, down to the grass and trees.